Birkin. See it. It's just it. It's just... I don't see no Birkin. Do you see it? No. Over there. You see that bird? Oh. That's where Sif the Farm Oh, that's Mr. Fun Farm's camera. Oh. That's how he's going to watch service today. Hi, Bernie. Hi, Bernie. Hi, You sound like a chicken dying in Wahala. You sound like a chicken dying. Oh, you can't see it correctly because you no, don't have my notes in this place. place. She said scoop over there, not lean over here. Okay, scoot it. Keep scooting. No. She's over there, not lean over here. Okay, scoot it. Why did she scoot it over there? No. She's over there, not lean over here. Okay, yeah, you better. Come. I'm so famous. Get you out of here. Sorry, guys. I'm so famous. Live on Facebook. You like my new bow? It looks orange, but it's actually pink. And it's, it's actually so dirty brown. brown. Jojo swing the wag. It looks orange from where you guys are, cause it's cause that's the sun is forecast. But it's actually super cute pink. It's actually super cute pink. It's super cute it's, orange. <laughs> It's orange so <laughs> where you can see it. I love it's super still pink. pink. It's still pink. Stop. It's, it's a Stop dark it. pink. It's so when it looks pink. orange. It's a light orange. It's a lot slacker head. It's a light orange. I can't believe it. I can't. Guys, can you see I'm so beautiful and Kawaii looks like a chicken nugget. No, we cannot ever see your hand because it looks too messy. I'm gonna step on your foot if you keep kicking. Okay, are you guys ready to get started? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, can you guys hear the TV in the background? Let's yeah. See if you can hear the TV in the background. It's you better than our neighbors. <laughs> Just go turn it down a little bit, please. I'll take the initiative. That looks like better. Thank you, Initiative Sally. Initiative <laughs> Sally. Why are you moving the table? Because one arm is Because the Oreos want to steal all of this. Stop, please. And get See, over I'm here. Better. It's not so famous. Get over here. I am over here. Just no, you're not. Really like on a different spot. Mark, move your chair right next to her chair so you're not behind the tub. Look at yourself. You look behind the tub. Yes. You need to stay right there. Angelo. Now, scoot your chair over. She's wussy. No, she's not. <laughs> but she's wussy. No, she's not. I know she's not. So I'm the first one to say, look, y'all need some deodorant, but she's not wussy. You're just being rude. You, you, yes, you've been we'll having a lot wuss. of allergies. And like, and blow your I, smell, I smell better than you. Yeah. Yeah, but not with your allergies, and I don't have allergies right now. So I have, what's the last time I? What's the last time I blew my nose? Um, uh, today. About um I last two I'm years. I'm faint right now. Yeah, faint, faint. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> that is so dramatic. All right, you guys. I'm sorry. I wasn't there. I don't know. What I'm so famous. That's why you should ignore him. Okay, so we're gonna stop with all that. All right, go ahead and start introduction. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Yeah, I need to stick the charges for this Let's go, guys. Stop it. Come on. Focus. <laughs> My name is Mrs. Sister. <laughs> Cheesecake. My name is the Simple Flam Sprite. I feel like pulling from you in the head. My week was Sorry. good. I okay, you know, we won't I do said my, the science project if you guys are gonna be. I said my week was good and I said my name is Mr. Flim Flam's friend. I did my thing, it's Ariel's turn. No, you didn't tell us that uh, why your week is good. Yes, why was your week good, Mr. Flim Flam's friend? Because I saw a white doggy at my friend's house and it was so cool. That's weird. I mean, that weird. was like last two. Okay, be quiet. Let him say whatever he wants to say. 
All right, thank you for sharing that with us, Mr. Flim Flam's friend. Hopefully, Mr. Flim Flam will show up soon. Mr. Flim Flam, are you on with us? Maybe yes. He's he was probably there. I'm so Mr. Sorry. Flim Flam's getting rid of it. I'm trying to get everything out. Okay, and what's your name? My name is Ferocious. I'm back. No, er, <laughs> choose something else. Ferocious, I'm back. Um, my mom's. I'm bad girl. No, we're not doing bad girl either. Choose something else. My name's Bad Squeak. <laughs> I'm Spider Woman. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, these kids I'm are so weird. These kids are so weird. What's wrong with them? It's Because my children are. Uh -huh. They're... Finally, you will admit that we're your children. Yes. No, they're not my children. I forgot there are these. There are my children that I take care of, just like they're my preschoolers. I will call them my children. Yeah. Bless what am I trying to do? Oh, uh, fart. Right what? No, I'm not trying to fart. <laughs> Does anybody got some whiskey? No, but we got. <laughs> you guys? Okay, okay, okay. Stop. All right. So today. We're going to be doing a science project, right? That's what this beautiful tub of water is here. Is Do not drink it. Do not drink it because it's got food coloring in it. I mean, you can drink yours if you want, but that container was dirty, so I would not drink it. I but would drink it. Anyways, so we're going to be doing a science project at the end of this lesson. So I hope you stick around and you can join us. Don't forget to please subscribe and click the notification button at the bottom, the little bell. And then that way, every time we have a class, you'll know about it. Ding. You can see our beautiful faces and watch all the drama. Okay. Last week's scripture remembrance was Colossians 3, 3, or 1 and 2, which they didn't memorize. I didn't remind them. We are but busy. I shouldn't have to remind them. No, they yes, were not. We were. No, they were not. They just I had remember. I had fixed one of your containers that you left on the floor. You didn't even congratulate me for I did fixing. say thank you. Why would you head up like that? I said thank you. I'm most I don't know what's wrong with his head. <laughs> We're going to bring it down. Bring his head down, everybody. <laughs> so it's Colossians 3, 1 and 2. And it says, if ye be risen with Christ, seek those things which are where? In heaven. Above, where Christ sitteth on the right hand of Yah. Set your affections on things where? Above. Above, and not on things? Below. Below. On the earth, right? So that was our scripture. You see, I said it. That was our scripture remembrance for last week, which I didn't memorize. Hopefully, you guys memorize your scripture remembrance, and maybe your mom and dad will give you a treat. They're not getting treats. They didn't do that. Yeah, but I still get They memorize theirs for school, and their teacher doesn't give them treats, and I give them treats. Actually, today. I didn't even memorize mine. <laughs> Bad. All right. So, today, we're going to be talking about, hey, neighbor. Everybody say, hey, neighbor. Hey, neighbor. <laughs> 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 Not a neighbor, but hey, neighbor, like our neighbor over there that always plays loud music. Our neighbor over there, forget you, neighbor. Hey, you said hey, you say, hey. But hey you neighbor, say. yeah, no, he's our, hello, neighbor. Our, our lesson for today is hey, neighbor. So sometimes in life, right, we're going to be in situations where we have to be the bigger person. Who knows what it means to be the bigger person? Take the initiative, not yes, you. sometimes, yes, that's Take that's the initiative is like farting. No, that's uh, taking the initiative. Don't stop. We're in class. <laughs> taking the initiative is, is is sometimes being the bigger yeah, person. Yeah. yeah, being a bigger person is like stopping a battle with two people punching each other and you punch the one that made a fight. No, and we're not being goofy anymore. So if you don't have anything constructive to add to the class, to the lesson, then don't say anything at all. So do you have anything else you want to add to what it is to be the bigger person, what it means to be the bigger person? So wait, being, wait, wait. I don't know. <laughs> do you know what it means to be the bigger person? She said taking the initiative, which is not wrong. So to be the bigger person is the person who takes the what they call the high road. Everybody say the high road. The high, high road. road. And it means to take, to almost sometimes be wrong or to do the right thing, even though you know you're going to get in trouble. No, not that you're going to get in trouble, but to take to do the right thing, 
even no though reason. it even though it may not have been your responsibility to do the right thing. So in a situation like Kamar, we can use Kamar. Stop. We can use what uh, Mr. Flim Flam's friend said about um, two people fighting, right? So, but you're in the fight and you're arguing someone, you're arguing about who spilled the, the mess on the table, right? So you're like, you spilled the mess. I'm like, I didn't spill that mess. No, you spilled the mess. It's like, you know what? I'm gonna take the, I'm gonna be the bigger person. I'm gonna take the high road. I'm gonna clean up the mess. Even though I may not have made the mess, I'm gonna be the one to clean up the mess and I'm gonna be the big person. Did you wanna join us, Nava? Okay. Kamara, can you take the um... she can just sit here. No, she okay. can I'll sit stand in the middle chair. That way I don't smear most things. Uh Kamara, take I'll the bucket see. down. Oh, no. Nava was sleeping I... and now she's away. Because she wants all the Okay. So usually when it comes to being the bigger person, it's not convenient. To sit here, Ariel, and stop. Nor does it always feel good, but there's you and there's usually no immediate reward. So in a situation with just sit right there, baby. It's okay. In a situation with the two people fighting about who made the mess, me taking the high road, there is no immediate reward usually. Uh-uh. Nava, sit here. Come on, sit there. It probably doesn't feel very convenient, right? Because I'm having to clean up a mess that I didn't make. And the other person may feel like, oh yeah, I got away with something. When really they're not getting away with anything, right? So that's why being the bigger person doesn't always feel good, but it's still important to do. Um, but we're gonna look at Yeshua, who was the bigger person when it came for dying for us. Uh, when we look at Luke 22 and 42, we know that it wasn't necessarily convenient for his flesh to suffer for our sins. Because did the Yeshua sin? No, he had no sin, right? But still, even though he had no sin, he was the bigger person. And he said, you know what? I'm going to do the right thing and I'm going to die for you. So let's go to Luke 22 and 42. Luke 22, 22 and 42. <laughs> Both of you guys were like, <laughs> she got it first. Go ahead and read. Saying, saying, Father, if ye be willing, remove this cup from me. Nevertheless, not my will, but thine will be done. You told yes. me this. Yes, I did. Okay, okay, I didn't say anything. I just, I didn't, I was just looking. Yes. So he said, Father, thou be willing, remove this cup from me. Nevertheless, not my will, but thy will be done. So this is when Yeshua was about to be, when he was praying in the garden of Gethsemane, and he was asking the Father not let him go through this because it's not convenient in the flesh. A lot of things aren't convenient in the flesh but it's needful for the spirit, right? So even though it isn't what his flesh wanted, he was obedient to the will of his heavenly father. And um, and even if it takes some sacrifice on our part, we have to be obedient to our heavenly father. Aren't we glad that he was obedient? Yes. Yes. You need to go wash your hands? No. Stop it. Right? Because if he wasn't obedient, would we have, would we have um, a chance at salvation? Yeah. No, right? We'd still be sacrificing lambs. So let's go to John 13 and 15. So 14 and 15? Yes. John 14 and 15. <laughs> I had my hand up the whole time. I wasn't paying attention. I'm sorry. Or yo, you, you, you know you didn't have it first. I had my hand up and then she Who did it? Up. Who had their hand up first, guys? Look at Nava the said, Kam Nava said, Kamari. So go Kamari, go ahead and read John yeah. 13, 15. If you love me, keep my commandments. This is my mom's favorite. Uh, that's not correct. Can you please read John 13 and 15? 13? You said 14. No, I didn't. I said yes. Oh, I said 14? Yes. <laughs> okay. I said 13. They need to turn the ears on. Hey, yo, I still should get that correct. I okay. said 
Go ahead and read it, John. I, I have it. Don't. He has it too. For too. I have given you an example that you should do as I have done to you. Yes. So <laughs> who who's saying this? Who's saying that they gave an example? Uh, y'all. Because yes, you yeah. right. Yeah, yes, yes, sure. Yeah, yeah, it is in red. That's right. Um, it is in, in your Bible. Whenever you see red, you'll know that that was Yeshua talking, right? So oh, it's yeah. saying, "For I have given this example that you should do as I have done unto you." This is actually talking about feet washing, but it's still his whole life was an example for us, so we would know how to operate and live accordingly, um, and do as he did, right? Let's. You have a question? Yeah. Why is your hand not raised, and why your eyes look like that? You look like a fish out of water. Yes, Mr. Yes. Slim Fam. Yes. Right. Yeah, well, I was he sure in the temple younger than he should have been in the temple? He was not in the temple younger than he should have been. He was 12 when he was in the temple. He wasn't. He never came in the temple once. When he was younger, he was 12. Y'all help me. All right, so let's go to uh, 1 Peter 2 and 21. I don't know who was Peter. Peter is in the Bible, so don't ask. It's Peter in the Bible. Peter's in the Bible. First, First Peter. Two and what? Two and twenty-one. Two and I miss, twenty-one. I miss Gabby asking that question. We had Gabby here with us for a while, and <laughs> when I would say a Bible chapter and verse, she'd be like, "Is that in the Bible, Mom?" You said two and one, not 21. twenty-one. No, so I, I said twenty-one. No, you said one. Y'all, they not gonna keep correcting me. <laughs> you better correct yourself before you start saying stuff. Even though they're on to were ye called? Were ye called? Because Yeshua also suffered for us, leaving us an example that a, a example that we should follow his steps. Okay, you don't have to. <laughs> you don't have to guess, but you don't have to be so dramatic. You can just breathe through your nose. You don't need to <laughs> and then suck up all the oxygen, and then everybody else passes out. Even the people on the camera pass out because you're suck up all the oxygen in the whole wide world. All right. She, she yawns a lot when she reads because she's not breathing properly. She'll be like, Sit up straight and look. It's like, she'll be like, for here unto were ye called because Christ also suffered for us, leaving us an example that we should follow his steps, right? Because there's a comma, so there's a natural pause. So where that natural pause is, you can take a natural breath. <laughs> so it's not that a natural breath. Not natural breath. breath. <laughs> you sound like the vacuum. Doesn't she sound like the vacuum on the Teletubbies? <laughs> What's a tilly tubby? It sounds like a tilly tubby. You don't remember the. Sounds like a. Those kinky winky. Yeah. Dipsy. La la. They live in the ground. They live in the ground. Like on the small little. Yeah. Of those. Yeah. And remember they had that yellow vacuum that like would suck up everything. Because they were baby cleaning up messes. That's the way you take your breath. You're like. Four. For even here unto, because Christ also suffered. Yeah, take a natural breath. Like she's you take a natural that breath. is okay. a natural and breath. She, she's learning how to read the Bible. She's just sucking on all of his words. <laughs> yeah, no, don't suck at all of his words. Leave some more for us. Okay, so right, so we know that Yeshua left an example for us, right, that we should follow in his steps. And an example is that he left for us, and one of the examples he left for us is that he took the higher road. He was the bigger person. And even though he had no sin, he died that we may have life eternal, right? So we're going to now talk about the parable of the Good Samaritan. Who has heard of the parable of the Good Samaritan? Have you heard of the parable of the Good Samaritan? I know. Is it about Francisco? No. What's the parable of the Good Samaritan? With the son. Probably. No, you're thinking of the parable of the prodigal son. Not the prodigal son, the good Samaritan. So do you know? It's actually good. I'm glad that you don't know because since you don't know, now we can learn about it. And you won't know what I'm going to say. And you can't guess the answers. <laughs> I do. I do. I do. Okay. So what do you think the story will be about? Uh, What's the name of the story? The story is called, it's the parable of the good Samaritan. So what do you think the story I will mean, be about? I mean, I Uh, Nava, what do you think the <laughs> what do you think the parable of the good Samaritan will be about? Take a guess. There's no wrong answers because you don't know. Now get out of her ear. What do you think, Nava? Just tell me. We know that you don't know what the word Samaritan means, but you know what the word good means, right? 
So what do you think the parable of the Good Samaritan will be about? Like being nice. Being nice? Okay, good job. I like that answer. Is that what you said? Don't forget, subscribe and click the bell. <laughs> it's going to be a parable. It's called the Parable of the Good American. It is not called the parable of the good American. We <laughs> said it's the parable of the good Samaritan. So it's about so a I don't good know. American. The, yes, it is definitely not about a good American. <laughs> okay. um, the parable of the good Samaritan is probably going to be about being the parable of the good Samaritan. Yes, the parable of the good Samaritan it's is about the, the, no, the parable of the good Samaritan. It's a good Samaritan. And what's funny is that the only one who had a proper answer was the five-year-old. Thank you, Nava. Everybody give Nava a round of applause. Good job, Nava. You two, fire. Fire. <laughs> okay. Okay, so let's go to, we're going to go to Luke chapter 10, and we're going to read 25 through 20 through 37. Wait. So we're going to take turns reading. Kamara, you can cover uh, yeah, chapter 10. You can cover two verses, then Ariel, you can cover Luke chapter 10. Luke chapter 10, 25 through 37. Yeah. Everybody's gonna read. We're all gonna we're gonna popcorn, right? So Kamari, you're gonna read the first three verses, and Ari, uh, you're gonna read the first three verses, and then Ariel, you can read two verses, and then I'm gonna interject. Good. That means I'm ready. Read. Yeah, Starting at verse 25. Hey, we're gonna read more. Be quiet. And behold, certain lawyers stood. A up. certain lawyer stood up. Stood up and tempted him, saying, "Master." What shall I do to inherit eternal life? Keep going. Wait, I remember this now. Keep going. Uh, and he said to, unto him, What is written in the law? How readest thou? Right, so this is Yeshua talking to a lawyer. And the lawyer is trying to tempt Yeshua and said, What can I get to inherit eternal life? And, and Yeshua says, be quiet. Everything. And Yeshua says, what does the law say? And go ahead, Mark 27, read verse 27. And he answered, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and all thy soul, and with all thy strength and with all thy mind, and thy neighbors as thyself. Right? Yeah. So we know those are the two greatest commandments, right? To love y'all with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength, and to love your neighbor as you love yourself, right? Those are the two greatest commandments. We'll see that. I think I mentioned it. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Mommy, mommy. Oh, yeah. Matthew 22, 36 through 40 talks about two greatest commandments. So he's answering the question to what Yeshua asked him for what, what does the law say? Go ahead and read 28 and 29, Arya. I mean, um, uh, what was her name again? Spider Girl. No, oh, spider yeah, spider woman. woman. Cat woman, I think. Spider woman. Spider woman. Okay. And he Perfect. said unto him, Thou hast answered right. This do. <laughs> Come on, I'm not going to let you read. Just breathe through your nose. Come on. Shall live. Okay. Keep going. But he, willing to justify himself, said, Yeshua, and who is my neighbor? <laughs> Yeah, so who was my neighbor? So he already knew that he wasn't living according to what the law said. So he was like, who is my neighbor? And when Yeshua said neighbor, what do you think he was talking about? Who, who is your neighbor? Is our neighbor the guy that gets over there, that lives over there and gets on our nerves? Yeah. Is our neighbor the people who live down the street, Miss Diana, the people who live back there, the people with the dogs that used to jump over the fence? Who's our neighbor? Mr. Oh. High? Everybody's our neighbor? What about somebody who lives 20 miles from here? Are they our neighbor? Well, if you could donate to their business or something. Okay. So who do you think is your neighbor, Nava? Yeah. Yeah, it's our neighbor. Okay. That's a cool neighbor to have. Well, who's your neighbor, Spider Girl? Yeah, and everybody on Earth. Everybody on Earth. All right. Except the killers in the back. Okay. And, okay, and verse 30. And Yeshua answering said, A certain man went down from Jerusalem. So this man is coming from Jerusalem. So we know that he's what? What is he if he's coming from Jerusalem? Who lives in Jerusalem? Egyptians. Egyptians. Hebrews. What did you say, Kamari? Hebrews. Yeah, right? Hebrews. So we know that he was a one of the bloodline descendants of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, right? 
went down from Jerusalem to Jericho and fell among thieves, which stripped him of his raiment and wounded him and departed, leaving him half dead. So here's this guy, right? And he's coming down from Jerusalem and he gets robbed, essentially is what happened, right? And the thieves almost kill him. So he's laying there and he's dead. Do you think they stayed around to take care of him? No. They went away, right? Um, read verse 31. And by chance there came down a certain priest that way. And when he saw him, he passed, he passed by on the other side. So here's this person who just got robbed, right? And here comes a priest. So a priest is like a pastor. So if you're a pastor and you some, see somebody laying half dead in the street, you're going to walk far around him so you can act like you don't see him. Because if you walk by him, what's probably he's probably going to be like, help me. <laughs> like Ariel trying to read, help me. So he didn't want to have to deal with it, right? So he didn't walk close to him and he walked far. And that's kind of sad, right, that a pastor someone who's supposed to be leading the people who's supposed to be shepherd won't even help somebody and they're most destitute say this person clearly really needs help but even the pastor's not going to help them right so let's keep going let's read verse 32. but i will help him you would help him now but that's because you're sweet as pie and likewise a levite when he saw at the place he came and looked on him and passed by on the other side so we have the Levites who were given Yah's laws, and they're supposed to be like the most righteous of the 12 tribes. And even the Levite saw the man, and what did he do? Walked the other side. He walked on the other side. He like, look, he walked up to the guy. I was like, eh, no, nah, I ain't gonna help him, bro. And walked the other way. So do you think the Most High is happy with these two people? No. Yeah. Why not? Because we're supposed to help the needy. Because we're supposed to help the needy, right? Even if that was your enemy, that's a good point. Even if this was your enemy, the and all he high, robbed you and did the same thing to you before in time past. Even if this was your enemy, the Almighty will want you to help this person, right? Because this person is in need. Just like we were, we were bad people one time, but the Almighty still came and supplied our need, right? He still came and sacrificed for us, and so He left us an example, like we read, that we should do unto others as He did unto us. Right? So, Kamara, you're going to read 33, 34, and 35, 30. 36. You're going to read 33 and 34 because you already just read. You read 31 and 32. No, she read. You read three. You, no, I read no. 25 all the way to 23. We're on 33. Wait. Okay, so we're on 33. Read 33, Kamari. Okay, say, but. But. No, we're not going to do that. Read 33, Kamari. But a certain. <clears throat> A Samaritan. Samaritan. As he journeyed, came where he was. And when he saw him, he compassioned on him. Right. So a Samaritan. Hey, Mr. Flim Flam's here. Shalom, Mr. Flim Flam. We're missing you. My name is Mr. Flim Flam. So when a certain Samaritan, as he journeyed, he came where he was and he saw him and he had compassion. So here's a Samaritan. Do you guys know what a Samaritan is? Yes. What is a Samaritan? A Samaritan. Yes, a Samaritan is a Samaritan. That is I, the right I, answer. I know. A Samaritan is a person that y'all like. Oh, not, not necessarily. All right, so Samaritans are not even of the children of Israel, right? They are not of Jacob's 12 tribes. What happened was there's this land called Samaria, and we used to dwell there. But when we were bad, the Almighty took us and put us into captivity and the captivity that we were in, that king put his people back in that land. So, and then he put our priests and stuff there to teach them how to live in Yah's land. So those Samaritans, those people who were living in Samaria, picked up our customs, and so they started to live like us, right? And they started to believe our ways because the priests the priest taught them how to believe in our ways. So the Samaritans, they were what we would call Gentiles. Everybody say Gentiles. Gentiles. But even though the Samaritan wasn't a bloodline descendant of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, he has the works of love. And we know Yah's what? Yah's love, right? So XO. No, I said L O V E. Right. So we know. That's how some Yeah. So let's read the verse. 
Let's read verse 34, Kamari. Aurelius, we are in Matthew, and we're on Matthew chapter, sorry, Luke uh, chapter 10, and we're on verse 34. Why is Zahara crying? Because Zahara just woke up and she's going to scream her head off. But that's okay. Because your dad's with her. All right, go ahead, Kamari. Verse and 34. He went to him and bound up his wounds, pouring oil and wine, and set him on his own beast, and brought him in to a an in, in. inn. So inn's like a hotel. So he brought him into like a hotel. And they poured alcohol on all of his wounds. And they and, and took care of him. So alcohol actually uh, is sterilization. So in the wilderness or in the future, when we're you know persecution comes, you can actually take alcohol and pour it in a wound, and it will clean the wound out because of the alcohol. Like like rubbing alcohol that you may have in your house when you get a boo boo. And your mom said, "Pour alcohol in it, it burns like crazy." Same thing. So and he that's on all of his bad wounds. Jesus. So it burned, but he was trying to get the bacteria out because the bacteria, if it gets in your bloodstream, will kill you. So he was trying to help the guy. He wasn't trying to hurt him, right? So he put him on, so he found this guy, he takes his wine and his oil, he pours it on him, he gives this guy his own beast. So now the guy, the Samaritan, is walking, right, and brought him into a hotel and took care of him. Okay, read 35. Okay. And when you breathe, you don't have to, at every single comment, you don't have to, right? So, go. And he went to him. 35. And, oh, and, wait. And on the morrow, or tomorrow, mm -hmm. when he departed, he took out two pence. Don't breathe like that. Don't you don't breathe through your nose. I'm gonna let him. I'm gonna let him breathe. I don't breathe through my nose. Breathe through your nose. Stop breathing through your mouth. Sit You're up. Not running Sit a marathon. Up. Sit up and read correctly. Let's go. So, and on the morrow when he departed, he took two pence. Go ahead. And gave them to the host and said unto him, Take care of him, and whatsoever thou spendest more, I when I come again, I will repay thee. Right? So not only, so we see that he stopped and he took care of the guy. He gave him his oil. He gave him his wine. He took him to the inn. He bandaged him up. And then he said, he left him at the end so the guy can continue to recuperate, right? Because obviously the Samaritan had some business to go do. And he said, here is some money to pay for his stay and whatever else that, you know, you need to take care of him. When I come back, I'll repay you, right? So he's giving up a lot of his own personal resources to take care of the stranger who he doesn't know, who's not even of his own people, who people would call like his neighbor. Because if I'm a Samaritan and I consider my neighbors, people who are around me, my neighbors would be who? other Samaritans, right? So this person isn't even a Samaritan. He's not even his, his people yet. And still he's trying to take care of them. So Yeshua goes on to say, which now of these three thinkest thou was the neighbor unto him that fell amongst threes? Was it the priest? Was it the Levite? Or was it the Samaritan? Which Samaritan. One? Yes. Samaritan. And he said, he that showed mercy on him then Yeshua said unto him, go and do likewise, right? So go and the people who not live next to you, but the people who you encounter, the people, because we are always ambassadors for Christ, right? We're always representatives of Christ. So the people who we run into, we are supposed to be an ambassador and those people are our neighbors. If they need help, whether they be an enemy or not, we're supposed to help them. Please stop playing with your keys. Yeah. So what do you think Yeshua wants us to take away from this parable. Stop playing with them. He wants us to take it that we need to be helping everybody. We need to help everybody. Well, be, not everybody. Be nice to the neighbors. How they how, treat, treat, treat others how you want to be treated. Yes, exactly. Treat people how we want to be treated. Our kindness should be bestowed on everyone, not just the people who we know, the people who can repay us or when it's convenient because a lot of times it's not convenient there's times when not now but when i even now actually when i'll go out and i'll buy myself lunch and this is my lunch that i'm getting before i go back to work or whatever and then somebody says i'm hungry and then it's like now i have to give my lunch to them i remember one time actually i had a bag of chips 
and I was getting ready to go pick the kids up from school. And I brought my bag of chips out the house and I was getting in the car. I was having a little car snack. This person was like, oh, I'm hungry. And I was just like, here you go. Did I, did I was like, here you go. <clears throat> or did I have a smile? Here you go. I had a smile, right? Because God loves a cheerful giver, right? I want to. I don't want to be unprofitable to my father. So I gladly gave them my chips, but that happens a lot. Sometimes I'll be greedy and I'll buy like, I don't know, I'll buy two donuts and I'm like, okay, here's a donut for now. And here's a donut for later. And then I'll be sitting doing something. I might be like, somebody will pass by the I might be like, give them that donut. I'm like, but that's my, okay, here you go. Here's your donut. So that happens to me a lot where I think I'm getting myself two or three or something. And then all my tells me to give it away. Right. So it's important to know that it's usually it's not convenient and it's not usually somebody who can repay us. It's important to note that being a bloodline descendant of Yeshua doesn't automatically get you into the kingdom just because you are the 12 tribes. And just because you can say Abraham is my grandfather doesn't mean anything. As we see from this parable, Yah's own children were not keeping the two greatest commandments. Dad's hiding in the curtains. You guys see him back there hiding in the curtains? That's good part there. Okay, right? So let's go to Matthew 22 and 36. We already referenced this earlier about the about the two greatest commandments. Matthew 22, 36. Just like the when the lawyer asked him, you know, what could he do? And then Almighty, or Yeshua said, what does the law say? And he quoted the law, even though this is... This isn't a precept from the law, right here. What we're reading, but it is law. Okay, Ariel, go ahead and read. You're gonna read. You're gonna read 36 through 40. You lazy master, yeah. which is the greatest commandment in the law? Yeshua said unto him, Thou shalt love the Lord with all thy heart and with all thy a soul and with all thy mind. This is the first great his commandment. And the second is like unto thou shall love the neighbor as thyself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. While the heresies uh, that's it. Yeshua that's it. Right. So mm-hmm. it, the Yeshua That's what I'm saying. Right? So it hangs the whole law of the prophets. Love the neighbors that love yourself. And love the most high with our heart, mind, and soul, right? So never fall into the trap of thinking that you have a ticket to the kingdom just because you are Abraham's grandchild. Because there are a lot of adults, I'm not saying the children, but there are a lot of adults that feel like, oh, well, I am Abraham's seed, so that means that I'm okay. But nope, nope, nope. Let's go to Matthew 3 and 9. No, 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 no. You actually raised your hand before your finger was on it. I saw it. But you didn't see it because your finger wasn't there. You said like here and then you're like, oh yeah. Go ahead and read. And be not to say within yourselves, we have Abraham to to our father. Her say, I say, unto that now is able of these stones to raise up the children. Abraham. So he doesn't care that you are a bloodline descendant because he said, I will raise up rocks. I don't even care about you. I will make rocks to be Abraham's descendants before I take your wickedness and sit up. Come on. So our scripture remembrance for this week is John, 1 John 3.17. Go ahead and read it, Kamari. 1 John 3.17, which is in the Bible. While he reads that, are y'all going to put your Bible up and I'm going to get ready. So no, I want to pick it up. Girl, you're not going to be able to pick that up without spilling water all over the place. <laughs> yeah. First John 1. 317. My neighbor. Oh, I'm not going to label to read. But who? <gasps> Stop it. Come on. Has this world good and seen it his brother have need and sh- shelter up his bowl of compassion for him how dwelleth the love of y'all. So, but who, hey, get down off the chairs. But who have this world's goods, right? You have the things of this world, and you see that your brother have need, and if you don't share those things that um, he has need, then how does the love of y'all dwell in you, right? So that's our scripture memorized for next week. We're going to do our little science project.
Stop. You don't need to do that. I'm going to back this chair up. Hopefully, I don't cut off the camera. Yes, she did. So, I'm going to tell you the object of this game. Hopefully, you guys can see it. Come on, shut that curtain, please. Don't touch it. I don't need you to do anything. I need you to get off the table. Yeah, but then we can't reach it. You don't know what you're going to do, so just move. Okay. So, the object of this lesson, this is kind of a game, science project, or whatever is of kindness, right? Because we were talking about kindness and being kind to people, um, showing compassion, taking the higher road. But when you are kind to somebody, right, that, that act of kindness doesn't stop right there. Has anybody ever been nice to you and it made you want to be nice to somebody else, right? So it, our kindness has a ripple effect. So today's science lesson is actually uh, kind of working on ripple effect. So what we have in here, pull this closer. It doesn't matter how many bouncy balls you have. Can you move my mouse, please, Ariel? But we have five bouncy balls. Two float, two don't, or three don't. It doesn't really matter if they float. And then I just took some bottle caps, anything. Just, oh, okay. You're pushing the button. Oh, can I have the ball, please? Thank you. Anything that floats, right? So this is going to be our kindness, these bouncy balls. However many bouncy balls. It doesn't even have to be a bouncy ball. I actually kind of thought about getting magnets. Get up, get not magnets, but um, I keep calling the marbles magnets. Go ahead and get me like three marbles, two or three marbles. We're gonna see what happens with marbles, right? So with ripples in water, the heavier something is, or the deeper it goes, the more of a ripple will make. So our bouncy balls, are, or whatever you're gonna use to bounce, is our kindness, and um. These bottle caps, I just took these off of some water bottles that kids have from school on Friday. These are going to be the people and the effect we make. So what we're going to do is we're going to put the bucket, which I have just regular water, and I just put some food coloring in there for fun. We're going to put the bottle caps in here at the far end, and we're going to stand at the other end of the table, and we're going to bounce the balls, our kindness, into the water and see what effect our kindness has on the people, right? These are our people. So each person's going to have five chances, which we were trying to do earlier, and it's not the easiest. I didn't ask you to put it in there. So here we have marbles, which actually this marbles I should kind of like. You see that one? But they're lighter, but we'll see what kind of what happens if we can even bounce these into the into the bucket. I think that's going to be kind of hard in itself. Excuse me. So to start, shh, to start, you're going to want to put Kamari, can you move our people? Our little floater people down there to the end. So I know it's kind of hard for you to see. I think I can move this closer. Can you hold this for me? Aurelius, we're not doing an art project. Aren't you so sad? Because I know how much Aurelius loves art projects. Can you still see? Yeah, we can still see. Let's see if we shut this door. I, I think, does Aurelius do the art projects? No, <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes I think he does. Let me see. Can we see good? Let's bring the camera up. So I still don't think you can see very well. But hey, get back to what if side. I put this on the back side? Excuse me, not love. Nope, that doesn't make a difference. I'm sorry, guys. I was just trying to help you see better. Go ahead. No. Okay, stop. If we moved it, the opposite side. Nope. Okay, so our people are down there at the floaty end. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Y'all don't laugh at us, all right? Nava, don't even make Okay, so here's my first, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, off the table. You're making your own ripples off the table. Nobody should touch the table. Get off the chair. Stand up. Right, here's my first act off the table. You don't need to worry about it right now. Back up. Nava, back up. Here's my first act of kindness. My people done move. Get back there, people. Get back there. Right, here's my first act of kindness. All right, come here. I'm going to start with the marble. And that didn't even bounce. It bounces, just not. Nope. Marbles aren't going to work. Let me show you how you do it. I'm going to just put the marble in there. Okay, so I made a little bit of ripple, but you were saying? Okay, well, he got it to work, but my people are still over there. You ain't had the kindness because that was rude because it was my turn. So his kindness didn't go very far. So here's my act of kindness. Where are my people going? We're going to right, go get a marker, and then we'll mark how far the people go after five chances. Okay? My people are moving. Come on, people. Come on. These acts of kindness are coming for you, peoples. 
okay? All right, so let's mark the furthest place. Oh, you got a white marker. Let me see. Don't shake the table because, let me see. Don't be trying to cheat me. So I'm gonna put mom. Okay, that's where my people went. Okay, my turn next. Don't worry about Ariel though. Where are the other bouncy balls? <laughs> Here, I got you. Go over there. Just right. Where are the marbles in there? Here. Okay, Arielle's going to do her act of kindness. Hold on, let me put the peoples. Let me situate your peoples. Hey, oh, okay, okay. I was trying to situate your people. You're cheating. You're you have to bounce it. Oh. See, look, cheaters never prosper. She cheated, y'all. That's why you wait, people no, didn't no. even go nowhere. You right. people stayed over here against the wall. Can you wait till I get my hand out of the water? <laughs> yes, I can. You, uh, you only get one. You only get one, each ball one chance. Then we're gonna find them and we're gonna put them back in. Okay, no. Okay. Well, I get at your chances like you said. You already just did. If it came back to us, fine. Okay. She hit the people with her kindness. Uh huh. Go! Your one of your peoples is already far. Mm -hmm. Did you was that all five? Yeah, but well, you should get extra chance. No, I didn't. Look one of your peoples is way over here. So we got Ariel. Ariel's peoples already almost made no, it. No, it's, it's still, it's still going. going. And you did that off of one ball. See? You gotta stop walking in front of the camera. That's why I'm so famous. Okay. My turn. Let Nava go, Horn. Yeah, let Nava go. Man, I was Save really the worst for go last. Next. Save the worst for last. the worst for last. Tomorrow, hold her balls for her since her hands are small. That's peaking through the camera. I can hold them. Okay, okay you're going to hold them? Okay. Bad. You got to try and bounce it. it. Bounce it here. So and try and get it to. Okay? Tomorrow, if you catch the balls, I'll mess out. Go ahead, Nava. Shh. Good job, Nava. Yeah. Catch up, Nava, Mark. Come here. Okay. No. Come on, let her. Go again, Nava. Yeah. Hey, it's dancing. It's like down, down, down. Girl, get off the chair. Okay, one more try, Nala. Here you go. She made it farther than mom. And she made it better than the men. <laughs> Nala said she's gonna play like, I don't even know where that one went. Can we go back on that side? You gotta find that. It, it was right here. Where's the marker? Let's mark Nava's. Right here. Where's the marker? At least. I don't know. I don't know where that one. She threw it, and I never even seen it bounce on the floor. Yeah, me either. Sorry, guys, we're missing a ball. Here, we'll just give you one ball back. We we'll probably missed one. I don't even know where it went. Did it get caught in the stars? Mm -hmm. That would be funny if it was all like caught in the scarves. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I know. Let's move Kamari's people back. I here. see it. Oh, way over there. Whoa. Okay. Let's go, Kamari. Boom. Your people are already cheating. They're already leaving. Boom. Look at Kamari's acts of kindness. I got stuck. <laughs> uh -huh. uh -huh. oh, I got I said, she said if it was, it was right uh -huh. here. Go, mommy. Go, mommy. Acts of kindness. Acts of kindness. 
acts of kindness. Here we go. Boom. Okay. Not really doing anything. We're going to try again. Boom. Okay, y'all. I hit you with my acts of kindness. I've like pegged them with the acts of kindness peg right there. Okay. Still not really coming like you should. Come on now. Okay. Still not really moving anywhere. And I missed my last ball. Oh, I so it's right. But I got it back. So I'm going again. Ah Off the table. I know my my little acts of kindness don't be going nowhere. Okay, hold on. Sweetheart. Maybe it's because you're too tender. Kamari, give it to me. No, let Kamari go first. Or go next next time. See what lasts. Watch out now. You're in front of the camera. Well, now you're gonna be last. So you could be the worst. <laughs> yeah, but I'm not the worst because I won. Won. Ah. Uh, uh, Mari is right here. Mom, she moved mine. No, I seen it. It wasn't much for uh, you and me. doing the same thing. Okay, let's find all the box. box. There's one over there. I'll get it. I'm just doing my last shoe. I got three. Yeah, got three. Wait, let me do mine to tomorrow. Yeah. No, you can go next. I mean, go with that one. Nova, what's up, baby? Okay. Oh, you cheated. I'm amazed I'm going to do this. I'll end the other day, Kristen. What happened to my knees while I was over there? Go, Mario. Uh, don't worry about it. Mom, there's the next one. Get the more people. Come on, let's go. Wait, I got it back. I got it back. I got it. Mark. Mark, you're about to hit the cameras. It's my turn. Easily, I got it back. Don't be a hater. 
Tomorrow I do the things for Ariel. Right, come over here. Get off the table. I, I, I'll need to get one action. Um, is that a snack time? You're cheating, Ariel. Oh, yes, Ariel. You're cheating, Ariel. That's why we're not counting those. Yes. We're going to count the one that's in the back. We're marking the one that's in the back, no. all right, because she cheated. No, she you said. No, I said not with the throw them. Not no, you. We're counting the one. We're going back for tomorrow. Is that me? Wait. Give it, Nava. Watch out for the camera for Ariel, you failed. Mm -hmm. Did you mark Ariel's? Nava said you can do it. We already know. Ariel said go anywhere. She cheated. We're filming this. Okay, go, Kamari. You have to turn them right side up, put the bottoms up. Did you put water in? Let me check these. Because Ari will be trying to cheat. You fill them with water. <laughs> that would be <laughs> So they're heavier. Oh, what if we put the marble in there? What if we try to do yes, the Yes, yes, yes. Ah, get. <laughs> Go. Go. Over there. I don't want to see you over here. Go. <laughs> That's power. Oh! That doesn't count.